even in those scenes where you are smiling. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I'm going to review Henya Menya's response video to my initial critique video to her. Just a couple of weeks back, I did a review of her full day of eating, and apparently, Henya Menya has responded to it. Let's check it out. Guys, I'm so hungry. Oh my god. Early Obviously. <sighs> oh, like, that wow. vegan life. I feel like two days since I haven't been sleeping. Like I'm starting to... Oh shit, this battery doesn't have a battery as well too. Fuck. <laughs> starting to like get worried that I might be a bit manic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I am. I feel amazing. I'm gonna make breakfast. I believe you. I'm gonna eat some avocado on bread. Some tomato or something. And that's it. Some nutrition <laughs> test. Ah, ah, hey, 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 hey. Look at this. Oh, what was that? Oh my God, it makes me want to cry. It's so perfect. Yes, it makes me want to cry as well. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Look at that. So good. <sighs> it's 2020 and we still have no nutrients. Sleep for a couple of hours. Finally. Oh man, mm. I was so tired. But now it is 2.30. Uh, always the same four in the other side of the city. always tired and it is always hungry cats and dogs it is okay so get cold to the rant all right guys i think it's about time that i will address some of the bullshit comments and videos that people make about me and anti denial and stuff um and there seems to be like a like a group of people that really seem to enjoy to make fun of particularly me and were there more people making fun of her i do not know say that all of my problems are like related to veganism um but yes. the joke's on you because i was fucked up way before i was vegan so i mean honestly though awesome. this is actually a very sad statement i was fucked up before veganism first and foremost henya i'm really sorry to hear that but this is nothing new. Who can truly say that before veganism they have been carnivore? Exactly. No one. Most people come from either a standard American diet or from a heavily plant-based diet already. I'm sure you've been eating hummus before. I'm sure you've been eating pita bread before. You've been eating plants before veganism and that is the exact problem if you look into the peterson family a very prominent example you will see that those people had to exclude all the plant material so yes of course it is true that veganism is malnutrition however there are plants in a regular diet in an omnivorous diet that will trigger your gut lining and with that lead to depression this is why you were fucked up before veganism it pisses me off i'm not gonna lie i was gonna read some of the comments That's in good. this video please guys don't check it out don't give him views i was just like <laughs> Why? i just felt like it <laughs> i was like oh let's make myself feel like shit but you already do just comments and i watched a little bit of his video but he's just an awful person Thank the girl you. in the video has a masculine face dead eyes thin hair and dry skin but humans are frugivores right as if i am i remember that comment <laughs> Claiming that people should eat fruit. Sad. She's so beautiful, but clearly malnourished. Ugh, she is testing my capability of compassion. Her body <laughs> is shaped like an ironing board. Ooh, because that is related to anything. God's chosen vegan. Yeah, just, just sprinkle some of that anti-Semitic comments as well, because why not? I mean, I am Jewish and I was born in Israel and you could just make fun of that as well. I don't think that's what they want to say with that. To use carbon steel or cast pans, at least she would get some iron. <laughs> oh my God. What do you have to do to live in such a dreamland? I want to do it as well. Demon eyes. I have a little demon bit. eyes. Oh, so it is me. Wow. Coach people on rapid aging. It looks like a flappy old lady with chinned gray teeth. Disgusting infected witch claw toes. <laughs> Beautiful smile as well. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Spotted at... 
Doesn't sound like a witch. Whatever, whatever. And hot dog demon. thighs. <laughs> Why are you so fake? Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> someone said I should be cleaning my room. Yeah, that is true. Where is her waist? The bloating made it disappear. That is true as well. No hip waist ratio. But why do you smile? Why do you laugh forcefully? Why do you fake it out of you? You are truly sad. Everybody can see through it. Maybe you are believing your own lies. Everybody that sees you here can see a person that is filled with suffering, filled with pain. It is blatantly obvious. Now you're gonna laugh it off as if it is not true that you are bloated. Of course you are bloated. That is what plant fibers do to you. You're infertile. Oh my god, you guys are such dicks. Shut the f up. Why would you like even comment about my body? That is like the worst. Because you are exposing your body online. You are displaying it. Of course, you're opening yourself up to critique. What do you expect? Way to... Like, Welcome to YouTube. Point. Oh, you look like this. So you're malnourished and you're vegan and it's all because of that. And now you should go back to eating meat. F that is yes. like the worst deduction process I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I Why? Why though? Where's the argumentation? You are depressed. You are bloated. If your gut is upset, that can lead to psychological problems. Self-admittedly, you were f***ed up before veganism. How was your diet like? Did you ever try an elimination diet such as the carnivore diet? The answer is no. So what do we see here? Denial. Simple as that. Those people want to help you. You are shutting the door. These are the window of the soul. This poor, poor girl is suffering deep down inside. Yes. Really? Deep down? Yes. Literally every video of mine I say that I am suffering from BPD and depression and anxiety and like it's literally all I talk about. So I'm just like... Exactly. So why don't you want to accept health? Why don't you want to accept carnivore into your life? Why don't you want to get rid of those poisonous plants? Why do you want to inflict suffering on yourself? But aside from you speaking about it in most of your videos, even in those scenes where you are smiling, <laughs> we can see the laugh of the Joker. It is really, really sad. There is not one genuine moment in your videos. There is not one truly happy moment in your videos. I'm like, show, I'm telling this, like, I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, she's obviously <clears throat> not all right, guys. Someone should make a shirt that says, so good, vegans. Um, yes, I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm gonna trademark Again. that shit. <laughs> when I started my carnivore and no one cares. Even you swearing so much is you protecting yourself from your emotions. Depression is written all over her face. Um, honey, I'm like, I'm legit talking about it. So sad. She looks very despondent. I'm honestly, I don't even know what that is. Me neither. Also, she's Israeli. Where is her tan? From the video, I had the impression she lives in Norway. Right. <laughs> Why do you scream so much? <laughs> she has that bloated skinny fat Again, look. Jesus, she swearing. has no waist, no hips or waist structure. She's just straight up and down. I feel bad for her. Roxanne. <laughs> she seems so lovely. No, sorry. I, just, <laughs> I cannot read this. It's so stupid. Do I need to point out the mental illness? Roxanne says. I feel bad for her. She seems so lonely and empty and has to act like her life is full and wonderful to get those sweet, sweet likes and comments. Her eyes are deep and sad, almost lifeless. Oh. <laughs> but again, you are in denial. You're absolutely ignoring the root cause. You are suffering. You speak about it. That is good. That is the first step. But now people reach out to you, people want to help you. My channel obviously generates more views and more people see your suffering, but you are denying it. The same happened to Raw Bliss. I gave him a lot of exposure, but it came from compassion. I want to help you people. I've been there myself. I've been suffering myself. I've been malnourished, depressed, all of those things. They vanished through carnivore, except the help. Wow, I am like... Seriously, is that what people who are new to my channel think? I'm trying to like yes. fully understand here when I say, because when I say when I suffer from mental illness and mm -hmm. like advocate for it, like literally 
my whole entire channel existence um, and at the same time I am vegan and I promote veganism but like and you don't see the issue hmm how can your mind literally assume that that thing is related like why do you think <laughs> how can your mind assume that hmm maybe because we have thousands of testimonials online where people report depression through plant ingestion and once they eliminate those plants once they stop being vegan once they go carnivore they feel great and their mental health returns we even saw a case of bipolar disorder being cured by carnivore of course the minds of men will see a correlation eating a dead animal Yes. Would help your depression. Like, seriously, <laughs> how stupid can you be? Uh, like, seriously, guys, uh, how stupid can you be? Vegan brainwashing. You cannot see it. You cannot accept it. Let me give you an example that you might be able to relate to. If you think about a lion, a lion in your mind must still be a carnivorous animal, I assume. Now imagine we're gonna feed that lion with lentils. Of course, that lion will get depressed. You see it in zoo animals as well. The environment plays a role, but the nutrition plays a humongous role as well. All of those biological needs need to be met. So if you don't meet those needs, those animals will get depressed. So now you as a biological life form, as a human, you have specific needs. Those specific needs are again environment and nutrition and of course many many more. Love, relationships, social environment, etc. However, if you do not meet your nutritional needs, you will get depressed. That is biology telling you you are doing something wrong. I mean, all the possible nutritional needs your body has yeah. can be found in plant foods <laughs> and like the only little thing, B12, that are... But wait a second, Henya, you've been vegan for quite some time. Haven't you researched any further into it? Don't you know that it's not only B12, it is vitamin D3. Right? It is cholesterol, it is creatine, it is carnosine, it is heme iron, it is vitamin A, so on and so forth. There is a humongous list of nutrients that you are missing on a vegan diet. Only because chronometer shows you there are certain nutrients on paper doesn't mean that you will convert those. Your body used to make by itself, but no longer. You can uh, supplement it. Like oh. even the B12 <laughs> you eat from animals is supplemented because those animals take so much antibiotics that they are literally not making it themselves they are taking the supplement as well so no that is not true i'm eating grass fed i'm eating local i'm eating from farms nobody literally nobody gives them vitamin supplements none of the farmers that i've spoken to gave their cattle supplements ever well, that means you are taking a supplement so i'm just no. like honestly so baffled and how dumb people can be. <laughs> I'm honestly baffled that in 2020 you still haven't done your research. It's just wow. Ooh. Let us you help a you. 20 minute video. 25 minute video. Mm. And that's like not the only one. I've had another video made about me last month. I think this one will be even longer. And uh, all that stuff. Oh, huh? there we go. This is someone she commented on my channel as well. Uh. I used to watch Hania as a vegan. Poor girl. Openly, openly talks about her severe health issues and personality disorder, but no one, not once, will she correlate her illness to her diet. Yes. <laughs> she used to be so... But why? Again, do you see what you're doing? You are going through denial over and over again. You're trying to brush it off. The reason that you made this video is already a testament to your emotionally disturbed state. Those comments are getting to you, but you are not letting them into your heart. And as she is Israeli, but she's paler now. She's paler than me now and I'm Irish. So that's saying something, ha. Huh? <laughs> Have you seen the video where she promotes a vasectomy to her ex-boyfriend with Dr. Yes. Gregor? Yeah, that guy should definitely not procreate. Trust me, you guys, we do not need more of those genes in this planet. What does that mean, Henya? As far as I know, that guy is Italian. Are you racist? <laughs> Pretty funny, scary stuff. He is an ex-vegan now, luckily. Yes. Bitch. 
bitch what? Again, you're using profanity just to cope with those emotions. You are sad that this man found his true love aside from you, that this man is healthy. You want a piece of that. You want that healthy life. Your suffering inside your heart is dying. Bad for you. Honestly, wow. <laughs> I'm glad you're not watching me anymore. I mean, dude, I don't want to make videos for people like you. I feel really sad. The only person that you're making videos for is yourself. You're using those vlogs as self-therapy. Unfortunately, you are not using the feedback to help yourself. That this is like, that I'm even part of the same race as you are. I cannot. Super racist. Imagine, like, honestly, tell me. It's always projection, isn't it? In the beginning, she started talking about anti-Semitism. Oh, just because I come from Israel. <laughs> but then continues to be super racist. Great job, Henya. <laughs> I, I'm, I have to be, a, like, I have to be an alien. How can I live as the same species of these uh, now people it's a species. <laughs> that think these kind of thoughts? And I am part of the same species as them. How is that even possible? Like, I do not... Nice escape there. I think that is possible. There, it makes... I have lit... I'm like literally standing in front of a wall facing like... How? How is this... Yeah, it is a good question, right? The rest of your species is eating meat. You, on the other hand, chose to eat plants. It is quite a miracle that we are the same species. You're right. I just don't get it. Honestly, I do not get it. I feel really <laughs> sad for people who are stuck in those um, food will cure you kind of thing. I mean, there's a lot of anti-vegans who are... But why are you sad for those people? Again, do I need to repeat this? You're depressed, you're suffering, you're crying on this video. You're not emotionally stable at all, self-admittedly. Now you get information of people curing their symptoms through food. But you will ignore that. Why? Or, you know, used to be vegans and now they're anti-vegans and all they make is anti-vegan content because yes. it's like the whole cool new thing. It's like ex rottle Yes, ex-vegan is the new vegan. Vegan 80, 10, 10 people that have turned, um, you know, carnivore and f***ing Elise and f***ing all these people. I'm just like... You're so angry. You need God in your life. That's so sad. You guys are stuck in this narrative that diet will cure everything, but no, diet doesn't cure everything. No, you're right, diet won't cure a chopped off leg, that is true. However, certain mental diseases have been already cured by carnivory. Other ailments such as IBS, SIBO, so on and so forth have been cured by carnivory. Rotting teeth. Do I need to continue? Diet heals a lot. Your body composition, everything that you see is made out of food. You are made out of food. You are meat. You are flesh. Please eat some. Literally, the only reason that I'm vegan uh, is to help animals. Vegan then help yourself first. Veganism can be a healthy thing. Veganism can also be an unhealthy thing. Clear no, it actually is just an unhealthy thing. It is healthier in the beginning states when you're coming off a standard American diet. I grant you that. In the beginning, as a detox, it is a better way than stuffing down cheeseburgers all day long. However, after a while, you become depleted. So, veganism is never a healthy thing. A quick plant-based fast, on the other hand, is a different topic for another day. Really? Eating animals? I mean, according to science and all of the recommendations of all the FDA and all the f***ing, <laughs> you know, health organizations in the world. Appeal to authority. Eating more plant foods is literally correlated with less illnesses. So I'm just like... And but meanwhile, you're sitting there being mentally ill. Hmm. Honestly, <laughs> like it resonates with me in a way because when I used to be a stupid rottle forer and... Oh, and, 80, that's 10, stupid. Tenor, and I used to think, I mean, yeah, science has no f***ing idea. I mean, they don't know anything. I mean... So wait a second, science says you should eat avocado toast with tomatoes? Science! The body does thermogenesis or genesis or whatever you call it. And I, I f***ing translated articles it. that were... Vegans have no idea about nutrition. Completely, like, f***ing made up sci-fi so much okay swearing. and i put it on a website i had a rotel 4 website in hebrew and i was just like yeah this is like this is the answer of course that's the 
answer because science doesn't have a f***ing clue. I mean, these people from Australia, they sure know uh, what they're doing. I mean, look. All right, now you're sad and angry again. A lot of emotional trauma freely has let you down. That is all fine and dandy. But if you really look into it, what happened there? You went raw till four, 80, 10, 10. Why? Probably because you didn't feel good on your diet prior to it. You were seeking, you were searching, you were trying to make sense of your issues. You were looking for belonging, for groups, for cults, and those guys let you down. And now you're left with the also scientific avocado tomato toast. Get them. Here's the proof. I'm like, that is a cult mentality. And I admit yes. that I was in that cult mentality. <laughs> And I feel really... It is so easy to see through you. I always know what you're going to say next. That's for people who are stuck on the other side of that cult mentality because they just came out of a cult and started another cult. And it's just... Oh. And you are not in a cult any longer. You are maybe 1% of the population that excludes animal foods. You are not in a cult. Hmm. Man, like, get some help. I mean... I <laughs> projection i'm not saying i'm perfect clearly i'm not but uh -huh. i'm at least trying to like work on myself i go to but how do you work on yourself if you're not changing the root cause of diet treatment i just came back from treatment i got connected to my inner child i was super vulnerable and i mean i cried and all that shit, and i'm just like you're crying all day long. What you need is meat and Jesus. I'm trying to work on things. I'm trying to make my life better so I can be a better person in society, so that I can feel less shit, so that I can, you know, portray a better message. But what do you do for society? Do you work? Do you have some sort of animal shelter, a sanctuary? What do you really do aside from doing a couple of YouTube videos that generate less than 2,000 clicks? To other people, I mean, I just don't understand what making those videos does. We are trying to help you people. And the good news is I get messages on a daily basis, hundreds of them, of people that reclaim their health. It is beautiful to see people snap out of their cult mentality. They leave veganism behind. They start carnivory omnivory something that reclaims their health something that restores their mental faculties they can be productive members of society this is why we make videos i know this seems malicious to you it seems evil bad bad carnivores oh, them. but the reality of things is we want to help you how i mean it's literally <laughs> you're uh. profiting off of other people by giving out false information and having other people believe that false information. But wait a second, you are spreading veganism. People are getting sick. We have thousands and thousands of ex-vegan testimonies. We are preaching nutritionally dense animal foods. It helps people. It has always helped people in all of human history. This is what we do. Why is it false? Again, denial. That raises you up as like a person who you know, shares that information and is some sort of authoritative, authoritative figure in that <laughs> sort of like authoritarian and I'm not even an English speaker. Anyways, no, it is not about that. If you watch my channel, you will see that I do not care about my personality. Quite the opposite. I'm disgusted with pop culture. I'm disgusted with the glorification and the idolization of people. I am not into that stuff. All I do is share my perspective so lost souls like yourself can be helped. The establishment of whatever. That's fake too, I guess. I mean, I'm not trying to fake my, my laugh. I'm not trying to fake my... But you do. Anything. I mean, everything that I say in my videos is real. Everything that I like... I believe you that you believe that it is real. But everybody can see through you, Henya. It is not real. Feel is like authentically me. Granted, I'm not at all times connected to all parts of myself. I have many different modes and schemas and different ways that I... That's what you just learned at therapy, isn't it? You know, I'm not trying to say I have a DID, like a dissociative identity disorder, but I definitely do have different parts of me that are in control in different times. That's what my therapist said. But when I portray each and every one of them, I am me. This is part of me. This is who I am. So I'm like... 
I might not always be connected to all of the parts of myself. I'm not a whole integrative uh. person. And I mean, that has nothing to do with, with veganism. It has to do with, you know, whew, yeah. uh. so much crap that I've been through. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, it's been crap since day one that I came to this planet. And I oh, mean, wow. that shit leaves you. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I've seen on your channel, you live pretty protected very close to your parents or even with your parents. You're having a couple of friends around. You're living in Israel. You're not living across the border. You are in a safe zone. You are spoiled and you believe that you have oh, so many issues. Tough shit. We all have issues. Your suffering right now is self-inflicted. Nothing more and nothing less. In a wreck. Honestly, I don't know how I'm even alive to this point. Like, <laughs> How is that even possible? I survived uh, OG Henya. 31 years of this crap. That is the result of that. It has nothing to do with a diet. A diet is not going to fix. No, that is actually a good point. The question is always what came first, the mental illness or veganism? It is like the chicken and the egg. My, you know, issues, my mental issues, my whatever. A diet can only do so much. It can only go so far. You could just eat a steak. And I mean... It's amazing, like if it, uh. if it would have been amazing if it was that way, but honestly, it just doesn't work that way. I used to think that way about what? Waddle 4. I used to think, yeah, if I will eat this, everything will be fine. But I mean, I just ruined my body. I just f***ed up my whole digestive system. Of I course. became even more f***ed up because of that. Now Exactly. Thank God you see the light. Instead of incorporating meat and getting rid of the plants, what you did is go fully into plant kingdom and eat only fruits and not little of it. We all know what Rotel 4 is. 20, 30 bananas. Stuff yourself until you get a histamine reaction. Of course, that is not healthful. And I understand you. I see you've been let down. And I do understand that it's hard for you to trust and to see people reclaiming their health with a diet that seems so foreign to you. You tried it once, but you tried it within veganism. Henya, let me tell you, I tried every single approach within veganism as well. I did the raw veganism. I did the fruitarianism, the whole food plant-based veganism. I did the bodybuilding veganism, high protein supplemented, low FODMAP, ketogenic vegan diet. All of it. I tried it all. And guess what? Spoiler, it all failed. Of course it did, because it was all veganism, all forms of eating plants whilst being a carnivorous being. Simple as that, Henya. Give carnivory a chance and you will see how your issues vanish. Finally doing a bit better. And I mean, that has nothing to do with the diet and the things that I'm eating. If anything, eating more unhealthy is healthier for me because <laughs> my body doesn't do well on fibers. I feel like I'm just oh, rambling a lot. And you don't see it. Yes, of course you will do better if you're eating unhealthy because you're eating processed carbs where you don't have the fiber. But guess what doesn't have fiber? Meat! Oh, it is that simple and you do not see it. It is right there in front of your eyes. If plants are so good for you, why is fiber so bad for me? Those ah. of you who follow me for a long time and, you know, know the whole story, not just like, oh my God, it's my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> so many compliments from Thanks. you guys. I couldn't help but comment here. Oh, <laughs> that was quite the experience. That She's deeply hurt. Back in 2016 with Gregor. And yep, luckily I saw the light. He has seen the light and he is now an ex-vegan. My fiance and I are keen on some kids soon. <sighs> Honestly. Yes, uh, sad, right? This man reclaimed his health. This man is looking forward to having a family. What do you have? It is truly sad. I feel your pain. You're sitting there alone in your basement. What will you have? No husband. What would have that guy have gotten if he stayed with you? He would get a vasectomy, mutilate his body, become infertile. A great vegan future. I don't want to say anything. Good luck to them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, when I'm you are possessed by demons. I'm gonna say is that this is bullshit. Don't believe people <laughs> on the internet that say stuff like in an authoritative kind of 
way and、mm. try not to get sucked into cults and <laughs> like please just remember that things do- so much projection don't get sucked into a cult the vegan set do not have like one solution that's like a recipe like eat meat and then you're cured or be vegan and then you're cured everything is a eat meat it is the first step in process And、um, you cannot get better without doing like multiple things.、Um, it's this. Actually, life can be pretty simple. You do not need to do multiple things. We talked about this on this channel. Is veganism extreme? Is carnivory extreme? Veganism is one end of the extreme. Carnivory, the other. However, the difference is that carnivory is extreme. Extremely simple. Same with rehab and drugs. I mean, doing drugs is not going to fix you, and stopping drugs is also not going to fix your problem. I mean, the problem is. De- all right, let's all listen to Henya Menya. All I want to do is eat unhealthy food and take drugs. Great. Down, and we're all like pretty miserable, I believe, to live <laughs>、no. in this world and. Not being able to connect in the way that our bodies and minds are supposed to, you know, like how are we evolutionarily evolved? Ah, there is the problem. You believe evolutionary. We evolved to be in a certain way, where we connect in a certain way with our bodies. Is that truly so, or are you missing God in your life? I mean, we do not live in tribes anymore. We do not live the lifestyles that we have. We live in urban urban jungles, and we do crazy sh- for a living. You live in an urban jungle. Nobody forces you to. And、um, I mean, that takes a toll on all of us. So、um, please just try to be good to yourselves and other people, and、um, just remember that there is no. But you are not good to yourself, Henya. One solution to everything. There is no such thing. Everything is a process. I'm just learning it now. After like 21 years of actually 22 years now of therapy, and、wow. um, yeah, just be kind, be nice people. If you don't have anything good to say, shut the fuck up, go vegan, and just stop being a murderous idiot. And that is it. And good luck to all of y'all. I love you guys. I'm gonna end this video here because I'm so fucking done, guys. Vlogmas. I just, I just can't. I'm gonna continue doing this as long as I possibly can, like until Christmas. But let's be honest. I'm Why do you celebrate Christmas? A malnourished vegan, and I'm so depressed. And、um, <laughs> yeah, just want to give myself a little break. See you guys. Love you. Bye. All right, the video has been long enough. Really, really sad display. Absolute projection. Absolute insecurity. Mental illness through. Plants, dear Henya, if you don't want to say it is veganism, nevertheless, it is the same thing. Mental illness through plant-based diets. The standard American diet is heavily plant-based as well. You're starting your day with a couple of bagels, and on top you have maybe a little bit of breakfast meat. That is. Plant-based. Anyways, guys, the video is long enough. I believe I said everything I had to say. I truly hope for Henya that she will wake up. I wish her nothing but the best. If you are an addict, if you are depressed, you think that everybody is against you. That is a natural psychosis that comes from those states. The reality of things is, it is the opposite. We want to help you, Henya. I wish you nothing but the best. All right, guys. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it. For you, it is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you, and we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls 
every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.